Welcome to another episode of Simple Science. Today we're going to make a soap sculpture using ivory soap and, and a microwave. So what you're going to need is ivory soap, and it has to be ivory bar soap, no other soap will do. Um, and we're going to try it twice. We're going to try it with a single solid bar of soap, and we're going to try it with a bar of soap that we've cut up. And actually, I recommend that you have a grown-up cut up your soap, even though it is fairly soft and it does cut easily. It's best to let the grown-ups handle the big knives. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our plates of soap to the microwave, and we're going to see what happens when we stick them in the microwave for a short period of time. So here we are at the microwave in the staff room, and we are going to start with the uncut bar of soap. We will stick it in the microwave and set the timer for 90 seconds. Now you want to keep an eye on things after you've started it just in case your microwave is stronger than the one we have here and you may need more time if your microwave is weaker than the microwave we have here. So what I can see is that the bar of soap is starting to bubble and puff up. Now why does it do this? Well, ivory soap has all sorts of little air pockets inside, but those air pockets are filled with water. And as you microwave, the water turns to steam, and the steam causes the, the soap to sort of puff up, kind of like a popcorn kernel. Popcorn pops when you heat it because there's a little bit of moisture inside the kernel, and just like the soap, the popcorn kernel will pop and get puffy. So you can see when you're about a minute in, it's really starting to puff up and I can see that it's actually starting to puff up over the edge of the plate. I'm hoping I don't have to clean the microwave um, before I do the next one, but uh, it is soap so it'll clean up will be easy. So now it's done and we'll take a look at our lovely little puffy soap sculpture. As you can see where it, it did puff out of the edge of the plate. Um, it kind of looks like a fluffy cloud or a meringue. One of our staff members saw an earlier experiment and she thought it was meringue, only it doesn't smell like meringue. Now we're going to use the cut up soap. We're going to set this for a little less time. We're going to set it for 75 seconds just because the pieces are smaller and I really don't want it to, to burn because I'm sure the, burn, the smell of burning soap will be almost as bad as the smell of burning popcorn. And because the pieces are smaller, they should start puffing up a little bit quicker than the last time. And I can see, yeah, they're starting to do it, and they're going to start to grow together. A little bit more puffing, a little bit more puffing. Boy, if you could smell what our staff room smells like right now, it just smells like ivory soap. And just a few more seconds and we will have our second soap sculpture. And there we go. So there you have it, ivory soap sculptures. Um, very quick, very simple, and you can still use the soap because it is still soap. So thank you for joining us for Simple Science. Stay tuned for our next episode.